High lava fountains mark the first day of April, as the eruption at the summit of Kilauea volcano continues. Episode 16 began on Monday night. And on Tuesday, the event entered its high fountain phase. Once again, lava shot hundreds of feet into the air. Light winds blew hot pumice, ash, and Pele's hair to the northwest of the caldera, mostly inside Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. However, once the volcanic tephra began falling on nearby roads, the Hawaii County Civil Defense issued this advisory to motorists. This is a civil defense road condition message for Tuesday, April 1st at 1 in the afternoon. The National Park Service reports Tefra being carried aloft and falling onto Highway 11 in Ka'u District between the 35 and 37 mile markers. If you are in the area, please do not stop, do not get out of your vehicle, and keep your windows fully rolled up. There are no road closures at this time, however, road closures could occur without notice. This is your Hawaii County Civil Defense Agency. Before this latest activity got underway, scientists were uncertain about how the pattern would be affected by the thousand-foot fountains that occurred during episode 15, which partially buried one of the vents with volcanic material. At first, the eruptive pause appeared substantially different than in previous breaks. But lava eventually re-emerged in accordance with the measured rate of inflation. This time, there was no cyclic gas pistoning, as was seen at the start of other recent episodes, just low-level spattering and sluggish lava flows until an increase in vigor at around 10.20 in the morning led to fountains that reached over 700 feet high. Scientists expect these towers of lava to again measure over 1,000 feet during this episode, and they estimate that sulfur dioxide emissions will reach 50,000 tons per day. Visitors to the national park and residents of adjacent areas may again be exposed to small fragments of volcanic glass and tephra that is carried in the eruption plume. All lava activity remains confined to the summit caldera, and the USGS volcano alert level for Kilauea remains at watch.